Yeah. Uh, to another team which uh, very intriguing times for Port Adelaide. Uh, obviously, it was, it was a shocking start to the year in season uh, 2022. Finished fast, but do you see them returning to finals football this year? Uh, I've got my doubts. You know, I think they've become the Dallas Cowboys. They just don't win the big games. They just don't win against the best teams in the competition. Two and nine last year against top eight teams. You can go back to the prelims, if you like, and say, should they have won those? Shouldn't they? I get they're hard to win. But if you're going to be successful in this competition, you've got to beat like types. They've been building for a long, a long, long time now. They've got, a, I think, a, a very good list. Uh, they've chopped and changed how they've played. And this is on the coach for me. The, the, all roads have come back to Ken Hinckley, and I know he's been a coach under pressure for years, and Jono, we talked about it earlier. But he has to deliver with this list. Their first five weeks of footy, that is it. Yeah. Adelaide Oval, they got Brisbane. That's a huge round one. Then they come to the MCG for Collingwood. Then they got the showdown. Then they go to Sydney for the Sydney Swans. It doesn't get any easier. The dogs are coming over and they're going to be flying. We've talked about them or we will talk about them. So I, I think things are really tough for them early and you can get really wobbly as a football club. So Ken's got to make every post to win in the first five weeks or you know what? He won't be there. Mm. They'll make a call early. It's, it's on a knife's edge, this coaching position, and I think the four, first four weeks are not critical. That his, his coaching career depends on it. So, worst case scenario, they're zero and four heading into Gather Round in Adelaide, and they lose. So they have the Bulldogs in Gather Round, I believe, yep. and they go to zero and five. You would you wouldn't be surprised if there was a an, an, a change in coach then that I, early on. I think they start at zero four. You, you can't be winning the premiership. You can't be making a grand final. We, we heard the the waffle that came out of there last year when they were zero three, zero four, zero five. It's just too far. It, it, to come back, it's it's a two, two, it's a bridge um, that they just can't they just can't cross. So oh, it's in the first month for me, and, and Ken's got pressure. On it. Is it unfair? You know what? You've been there ten years. Time to put up. No, I think it's I think it's fair the the assessment, King, and, I, and I'm on the same page in in that regard. It seems like they're holding a lot of hope for for Horn Francis. Now, look, it's it's exciting. They've got a number one pick into, into their into their football club, but I still think he's two, maybe to four years away from actually being the player that he will get to in this competition. Even in the first practice game, you know, watching him closely, which we all did, he's still standing there on the haunches and he's still fatigued in quarters. We all were at that, that age. So it's going to take time. Yes, he'll have his moments and he'll burst out of the pack and we'll all go, wow, how good's, how good's that? But we won't see it consistently at the top level for a few years to come. So Horn Francis, yeah, he'll have his moments, but don't put all your eggs in, in that basket. And I think their back six doesn't have doesn't have an A grade, and I think the pressure of the opposition and the good opposition will put on their back six. It'll it'll just um, be exposed too too often. Their midfield, if they get their pressure right, will assist. But if they don't, their back six isn't good enough to hold up the best teams and the best forward lines in the comp. Yeah, a little bit more bullish on Port Adelaide. I think they can play finals. I, I think that no doubt they blew it last year. But then between round six and seventeen, they went eight and three. Their defence was really strong, and it, again it fell away late. But it's all about Horn Francis, and I think there's so much scope. I think you're right. Two to four years, we'll be talking about him as a top 50 player in the comp. Yep. I think what he can add this year, we've already seen little glimpses in the preseason, but on top of Rioli and, and Lockie Jones can improve, and if Fantasia stays fit, Bergman looks like he's going to be a beauty on the wing. Farrell's going to fill a role, and Rosie and Butters have all still. So there's still a lot of scope for improvement with this Port Adelaide side. I think they still believe in Ken. They'll they'll buy in. It is a really tough start to the year, but but I think this team should be expecting to play. They'll, they'll buy in, but will they? They won't play. I don't. I, don't, I can't see them getting to a prelim or, or a grand final. Do this, they play? This year. My question to you, Joey, is: mm. Do they play what the modern game now demands? That you can take risks on offense and just trust your back six. Do they play the Geelong brand? Do they play the Richmond brand? Will, will they be forced to play that way, even though they're not geared that way? Yeah, I think they will. I think they'll take more territory. A lot of their issues last year defensively, if you remember, were off turnover in the back half. They were trying to squeeze it through the corridor a bit too much. Houston and Burn Jones and, mm. and Amon at times. They were a little bit too aggressive early in the year, which backfired on them. I think if they can find the balance, they've always been a strong defensive team under Ken Inkley for the last four or five years. Didn't work at times last year. They are a strong contested ball team. Charlie Dixon's got to stand up as well. You know, he has to have a big role as that key four with, with Marshall and Georgiades. But uh, they should be expecting to play finals and we'll find out whether they're good enough. So where do we all have them finishing? I had them just missing. Yep, I'm not a believer. Too. Yeah, I've got them just sneaking in. Just. just sneaking. Now, whether that's enough to, for Ken Inkley to keep his job, we'll see. But they should be playing finals. Is he the coach you're most concerned 
for? Well, I think so, listening to these boys talk. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> he That's is. why I asked you. Well, he is. <laughs> Coming into the year, yeah, I think it's absolutely... He's, he's going to be the talking point for the first month. No question he has stood up under enormous pressure from board level coming coming down and what he's been able to achieve in that to hold his position as coach has been excellent as in but the board making too high too high expectations yeah of announcements they are. yeah yep. yeah it's just and at, again we we see it and i don't think it'll st- for everything to go right, they're going to need Rosie to have another big year. Oh. I think Butters has to go next oh, yeah. level. Wines has to return to that Brownlow oh, medal cool. form. And they probably lack for depth in the midfield. So those top liners have to be 9 out of 10 players. 